Oh, that works. I don't understand. Uh, it's also not overlaid properly, obviously. So give me a moment, though. Um, but yeah, this is the game we're playing, and it is a wonderful game. I promise you that. So let me center screen. Um, it is a bit bigger than it needs to be. Uh, how do I make it not? Okay, I believe that should be fine. Which is nice, but now I kind of need a different background image, which thankfully I have one. If this screenshot doesn't tell you everything you need to know about this game, the background image, then uh, nothing I say will tell you anything about this game. So. What a lovely game this is, Earthworm Jim. It is... After playing Tomba, Tomba was insane and weird and just something and this is too in its own way but i would say in a different way a much different way a perhaps simultaneously a less understandable way and a more understandable a more cohesive way but it's a great game is what it is um how i change difficulty well, there we go. Difficult. I uh, just hit start. And hit start. And like I said, I'm gonna need to play with the buttons a tiny bit. But it'll be great. Um... Alright. So. I'm gonna figure out what buttons do what. Okay. Um... I wish I would play the music, because the music is some of the best of this game. Alright, the music is some of the best of this era, honestly. It's just really damn good music. I think I just bound it properly, maybe? Yes. I want to jump on the A button. That is all that's important. The only story context I have for this game. Well, I know everything about it from Jim that there is to know, essentially. But the only context you need is the only context you would have, which is... Earthworm Jim is off to save a princess. And I'm... that is actually, literally... I know what the story is. You know, I don't know if the control stick is the ideal... I have the movement currently set to the, the control stick. I think that I D-pad would be better, at least on this controller. I'm not sure if that's a good thing. Um, I'm pretty sure the other controller had a working, well, an analog stick where I didn't need to rebind things. The only logical thing to do here. Cow has been launched. That'll be important someday, I assure you. Earthworm Jim is 
beyond what I can currently describe. It's just, you're gonna have to watch it and see. Maybe I can turn down the volume just slightly. I don't want it to overpower. Because there's a lot of loud sound effects, but... How do I jump up? I need to whip off or something to get those, I believe. It is if not already obvious, a side-scrolling platformer slash shooter with only the most logical and realistic of levels, level design and enemies. I mean, there's nothing more logical than Rose being a primary enemy to a worm. I'm also going to definitely take time getting used to the controls again. Like I said, I'm almost certainly not going to beat this today. It is something that could and should be beaten in one sitting, but... You know, being an adult with adulting work, that's not going to happen. That and also... This being an addition of the game that has content I've never seen, I'm probably not going to do perfectly. But boy, howdy, did I miss this game. I haven't played it in so long. It is the actual perfect brand of weirdness for what I like. might be covering it somewhat or my webcam but the gun basically the gun technically has unlimited ammo it'll self-charge slowly back up to 100% when you use it or you can collect more to have more than 100% also we're fighting uh, I don't know what we're fighting we're fighting something and I'm doing a very poor job of fighting it Junkyard something. I don't actually know if this enemy has a name, a proper name. But apparently, I definitely need to be attacking it. And apparently, I need to not be shooting at those things, I need to dodge them. Like I said, it has been a hot minute since I've played this game. It also definitely controls differently than the Super Nintendo version. Not the worst, mind you, but differently. It was just like some differences I've already noticed, besides the music being so amazingly superior. I've heard the soundtrack for this version before I've played it, because I've done a lot of looking up of this game. Wait, how do I get that? I want the extra life. You know, I don't know. It 
doesn't matter because we're going down the toilet. And that brings us to. I'm nude. A little level segment that is not in the Super Nintendo version. You can see, without the power of his super suit, he is in fact just a worm. A, a very big worm with eyes and the ability to talk and, like, do things, but... A worm, nonetheless. Oh, this is gonna be some platforming, isn't it? Alright. Alright, alright. I think I almost fell. Does it continue? Well, obviously, we know which route we have to take. I want. I wanted that extra life. Oh, there we go. take a bit of doing, but thankfully, I can get the extra life again, which means we don't have to worry about dying here. That's always a good thing. And there we go. We got the suit. And also I picked up a gun power, but I accidentally immediately used one of the two shots I had for it, so whoops. I believe we have a boss fight coming, and it just... I've never actually looked up the name of this guy. I I'm very knowledgeable about, like, almost everything. Earthworm Jim, but I need to... ...actually remember this guy's name. Very simple. You have to fight he who rules the junkyard. Chuck. As the pop-up said, we must use the crane. There are no explanations. All I can say is I love this game. Fine, but we have achieved victory. I don't know why we necessarily had to defeat him to go on to the next planet, because we could have just pulled the pocket rocket out to fly to another planet, but fine. But now, as is tradition, we must race. Earthworm Jim's arch nemesis to the next planet, as must be done on every level. His arch nemesis? Also a crow. A the most dastardly of all crows known as Psycro. And also, we have amazing banjo music, which is all one needs when flying through space. Basically, you race him, and if you fail, you have to fight him. And if you collect enough blue things, you get another continue, I think? Maybe it's an extra life? In a hot minute. But 
I could listen to this music forever. It's just, it is perfection. Probably lose at some point just to fight him. Okay, so it is a continue. Which might actually help me not fail and be able to do this in an attempt, but I forget how long. I don't remember the game being super long, but. Now, the next stop in our journey is the planet Heck. Where we must deal with the leader, Evil the Cat. Oh, right. I'm definitely going to die to something stupid again. If this isn't the appropriate music and backdrop for heck, I don't know what is. Um, I think I've got a... I don't know if that can make me skip to that continue. I want to beat the weapon, but yeah. It's just basically extra ammo, and I already have enough. Um, but I want that. I don't... Anywho, I was gonna say, I don't remember that weapon power from the Super Nintendo version, so it probably wasn't in it. Probably. I, I, even in the Super Nintendo version, as much as I love this game, I never discovered all the secret pathways. Actually is called Heck. Ruled actually by Evil, the cat. I'm just gonna play everything straight, because. You know. Why not? This time I'm. Well, I was gonna say I'm not going to. fail. Oh, shoots little rockets. Too bad I only get three. Now, like, these enemies were very difficult to deal with to begin with. The ride. The overly 3D crystal orb. To the top. But I also wanted to get that extra life. You know, I think this falls a lot faster in the Super Nintendo version, too. Which made getting that life kind of annoying, actually. Oh, riddle me that. How do I get that extra life? The answer is, I don't know. Oh, dear lord. Get out of here. I have more rockets, though. So that's nice. Oh, 
Oh, I think we're actually about to see the most vile creature of that. Yes. A lawyer. Although he instantly died because I have the rockets. We didn't really get to see him work his lawyering. We do get to fight another evil inhabitant. Maybe uh, there might be another level segment in this version? I don't know. I don't know what to expect with this version whenever it teleports me. Okay, there is another level of se segment. Uh, it would just straight up be a boss at this point in the Super Nintendo version. So, uh... It's kind of like a blind playthrough. It's like, uh... Uh, the squintily staring into the sun playthrough. How about that? You son of a bitch, get out of here. So it's not overly apparent, the atoms are how I restore health. Which is nice, considering... Uh... I keep taking damage. I am playing very poorly. Oh, yeah. oh well, there's the lawyer. Definitely belongs here. Oh, well, that boss fight opened a bit more abruptly than it did before. before. Also, this music for this boss fight. Okay. I mean, why not? But. I am not doing so hot. Yeah. Okay. It's definitely a lot harder in this version. Especially when he just spawns on me. Okay, well. Hopefully that will go a lot, a lot better this time. We just have to deal with the lawyer, and all will be fine. I want to get up that hook. There's, I know there's a way to like go up with the hook instead of. I am not entirely sure. What I am sure is that I need to do a lot better on this boss fight. Which is not so easy, again, when he just spy decides to spawn where I am. I think the Super Nintendo version is easier, because I'm almost positive that, um, if you damage him before he attacks, he goes away. Oh, you can do that. Okay. Well, that makes it a lot easier, huh? Alright, well, now that we've defeated the Snowman of Heck, who's there for some reason, um, we can move on. And hopefully find Evil. Evil. The cat. Which honestly, if any animal is going to be the ruler of heck. Oh dear lord. I do vaguely remember this. Oh dear lord, owie owie. 
That hurt way more than uh, I thought it's going to. Well, I see. I know seed weapons. Um, do I go down? Well, I did go down, except I fell into spice. But it's okay, because we've got to continue. Well, we still have a continue, but I stepped into fire, so. Get out of here. Dang demons. Always where they shouldn't be. Same with the lawyers. A lawyer shouldn't be anywhere. Except here. No one likes a lawyer. Oh, okay, right. There's platforming to do here. At least the enemies do not respawn, in fact. It's okay, because we're not falling into pits, and we are not being attacked by enemies. But it will take a minute. Just you wait. Alright. Uh, I think this is it. Barring more added segments from this edition of the game. Which may or may not be the case. No, th this is definitely the end. Oh, but that's different. I don't think I need to elaborate on the fact that that is evil to pet. Uh, the little boulders are new, and actually kind of a bitch to dodge. Now we just gotta defeat Eola Cat. One. Five. A lot of the voice acting is unique. <laughs> is unique to this. Super Nintendo definitely couldn't handle all that voice acting. That is all nine lives. Alrighty. Groovy indeed. I don't know what this is. This must be be actually full 100% new content that I've not seen before. Well, alrighty then. Well, uh... Yeah. Definitely don't expect an explanation on any of this from me, because this is 100% something I've not seen before. I cannot believe the Super Nintendo version got so shafted. And I love the Super Nintendo version. It's what made me fall in love with this character and everything related to him. Uh, what 
on earth is this? Is this Louisiana? Oh, yeah. I mean, it could be. Alrighty, well. Get out of here, Bars. Somehow it's easier to whip them than to shoot. But what am I supposed to do with you? Maybe just not get caught? I'm guessing that yes, that, that is what I was supposed to do, is not get caught. Oh, I think I see what I gotta do here. I mean, this sounds about right for a Northrum Gym game in level. What a weird level. I mean, I say that, but just look at this game, honestly. I need to see where I'm supposed to go. Okay. I need to make him break that. Well, there you go. That solves that. Can I get the extra life now? I think the answer is no, at least not from there. But that is why we have continues. Alright, well... Very interesting. In fact. Like I said, I'm... What are we in? Yeah. Well, with new content added in. I don't know how long of a game this will be. So, it might also be completed on Thursday. Well, like with Castlevania. What was the last Castlevania game I played? I know it was on the, the Sega, where, you know, I started from the beginning each time. That would probably be this, but this is not nearly as insanely difficult or frustrating. Uh, what I would like to do is get that extra life. I'm not entirely sure how. There must be a way to get under the platform. Get out of here, Louisiana and bugs. And there we go. Huh? Get out of here. Alright. Well, I'd say flawless, except I just did that. Like, a genius that I am. I don't want to fall all the way down, but I am curious about that. Grapple point. But I'm not confident enough in my uh, ability to grab that. 
fight after falling off a jump. What I will do is not go up for this extra life this time. Instead, we shall simply proceed. How much I'm shooting to not even hit the bugs most of the time. Okay, so there are some uh, parts where you just straight up die if you fall. There's actually a few, but uh, I'm generally better at avoiding them, even on levels I've never played before. it doesn't ask me to do two in a row without warning, we'll be good. You know, now that I've already fallen once. Same thing over here, kind of. Get a lot less warning now. I want that extra life. There's been many extra lives that I've failed yet. I need to be better at secrets. Okay, well that one... Looks like it'll be easy. Maybe. Let me hit the continue before I do something stupid. Okay. Oh, am I supposed to like lead him here and kill him? I'm so glad that enemies don't respawn. I truly don't know what to say about that sound effect of the creature uh, running. It really is something, and that's coming from someone that has played this game before, or other editions of it. Um, there we go. I can tell the extra life is going to be this way. There's actually another extra life. So there could be potentially be two extra lives. Oh yeah. I don't think I want to die trying to get both of them though. Excuse me, sir. I'm probably going to die getting one of them. Well, I thought I'd die getting this one. I will try like once or twice more to get that one. Aha! Kind of aha? Well, I'm up here and now... I can't actually... ...do anything. That is unfortunate. I'm like so close to being able to get it. Like, look at that! Uh, 
Uh, fuck it. I'll just not die. That, that, that would be the ideal thing here. Just not die. And I won't have to worry about getting that. Just gotta get another continue when I race Psycho next. You son of a bitch. If only... I can say, if only I would have known, but... Yes, I know now. Now that I need it. I just make sure there's none over here. That is really unfortunate, huh? That I can't get that extra life. And then I died, so that's even better. Which is another continue. So, definitely not going to beat this. But we can get some practice in. For sure. I wonder if there's other content and or levels that I've not beaten or seen yet. I mean, considering there's already one, wouldn't be surprised. Um... Get out of here, bugs. I mean, there's like a lot of extra lives on this level, too. I just, I don't know how to get most of them. I'm sure it's not even that hard, I just... Not really trying, I suppose. How does one get some of these? Try. I'm going to try to actually get this one this time. And not, you know, immediately die like I did a few times. Okay, so... Oh wow, that did not work at all. So there's no way to jump up from that. But I need to be able to, like, immediately... I waited too long. I need to be able to immediately whip to get that hook. And I'm not entirely sure how to do that. I will say that you have a lot more mobility in the second one. Or at least it feels a lot easier to get the access points. Hmm. I'm gonna try it like one more time. Feel one more time is fair. Though inevitably, to ensure that I beat this Thursday, 
I'm probably going to look up some, or either look up and or practice on getting the secrets and all that, because this is definitely harder than the Super Nintendo version. Okay, there we go. I was hoping that dropping the hoop would put me down there. It didn't. It was... You know... I wonder if there's a teleport in there. Because I'm not seeing how I would get the extra life down there otherwise. But yeah, I'll probably practice this tomorrow when, uh, before or during work. If I come home for lunch during work, just so I can practice the, uh, the secrets getting so I can ensure that I will beat it on stream on Thursday. Like I said. No, I don't even know how to get that. Well, we got the extra life. Don't even know how. I just kinda fell through the area, which it's fine. We we are here and alive. That's all that matters. Truly. Oh yeah. Hmm? Now I definitely don't know how to that one. But I'll be happy with one, honestly. Yeah, sure, I'd like to. But I'll, I'll be happy with one extra life. No worries there. Really? We've got to be... Or at least surely we were close to the end of this level. I would assume-ish. I, I definitely don't know how to get that one. Right, like... That you need to get behind him to get that. But how doth one get behind before he respawns is the question. And uh, I do not have an answer to that question. Unfortunately. I just make sure there's no mosquito over here. I mean, maybe I could just run back to get that extra life. That made it seem like I had enough time to do so, but whether I did or not. It's another matter entirely. Son of a bitch. Well, shooting in bursts makes it a lot easier to hit them. I will say that. Not flawless, but close enough. Oh yeah. Hmm? All right. I'm gonna grab these, and then I'm gonna fall over here. Get the extra life. That's what I want. Fall back over here to make sure. I'm 
me this time, I just got to jump up here. Oh. Well, I thought so. I I'm probably still not wrong, I just jumped way too soon. Fortunately, uh, I can't grab a free life on the way. No. Oh, there we go. Is that the end? That was the end. I did have to die right at the end. It's the law. Gaming law. Well, here's another chance for another continue. Or H. Yeah. I spoke correctly. Look, they're meatballs. Are they meatballs? I mean, I'm not going to argue with the person who's flying the rocket, but... Get out of here, Psycho. I swear, he's gonna make me not get enough. don't know how many I need. It could just be the majority. I don't think it's just the majority, I think it's like almost all of them. You know, I think it might be 50, and I hope that's correct, because I just got 50. Like I said, though, whether today or when I inevitably play this again Thursday, I will purposely lose the race so I can do the fight with him. Now, the question is, I think I know what level it is. Ruby. But I'm not 100% sure what level is next. Yes. Down the tubes. <laughs> Find Bob the Killer Goldfish. On La Planita de Agua. army of very buff cats that cannot be defeated. At least not by Jin. There's one way you can defeat giant cats. That is with. Oh, I think it despawned. Well, never mind. Oh, wait, maybe if I go back? That is with a giant hamster. Those are also tiny cats, but the point still stands. Oh god. There's a timed section to get through the water to the next oxygen area. And yes, I can most certainly break this by crashing enough. Is there a secret up there? I don't know. I I'm already breaking it, but the timer, at least here, is fine.
Maybe this way? I can't go back down. There's in fact a lever here. We do love our levers. Especially when the levers release hamsters. Well, I didn't see a hamster, but I do see another one of these. Which, as you can tell by all the noise, I am most certainly doing a wonderful job. That gives me oxygen, which is time, but... It's only so helpful. Especially when I apparently went the wrong way. Maybe. Yeah, there is more oxygen. I don't know if this is the super hard section. One of these was definitely like way more difficult than any other. It might have been this one, or there might be a third. I pray there's not a fourth. Well, the time is more generous than I remember. Especially with me putting an extra effort to not hit the walls. Oh. Whether that effort is good is another story entirely, but I am putting an effort. I do not believe Jim has any means of passing those cats, except I have to here, because there's literally no way through. I wanted that. Well, I saw the cow. You saw the cow. It's still going. How it ended up here, I don't know, but it was still going. Um... I guess we don't fight Bob the Goldfish. Bob the Killer Goldfish. Oh, wait. We might still, yes. We just have a tube race. We definitely fight Bob, the killer goldfish. Th this one will, will not be fun. If tube race wasn't a big indicator as it was of what I have to do, then, uh, well, I don't know what to tell you. Maybe you should get better at inferring things. We don't need health where we're going, because we're going to hell. Different from Planet Heck. Very distinct. No, well, what we're doing is we're doing this, and yes... Oh boy. And by how much it's increasing the air, you can tell this is going to be a fun one. secrets, but I just want to survive. Which, uh, so far so good. Ish. It only, like, bounced once, but I know that jinxed me. Kinda of bounced, but I don't know if it actually did damage. That one definitely did. Fine, so long as we're not like overly damaged, we'll be fine. I think we should be making good time, like we've not really been interrupted in movement. Suffice to say it's an instant death if you just run out of time. Or break the uh Orb. Either or. But. Oh. 
Oh boy. Almost. Almost. Maybe. I know we are almost there. I just not sure I will make it. Even the time. Well, we did, and barely. Okay, I think now we fight Bob. Yes. Well, we won. It, it is a pretty good boss fight, I would have to say. Anywho, back to racing through asteroids, and hopefully getting another continue. Look, they're meatballs! I wonder if I could get the continue, but also lose the race. That, I don't know. I'm almost tempted to find out, because like I said, I do want to fight him. The race ends when he crosses the finish line as well, so I definitely don't know. I'm very tempted to find out. I'm gonna let him be ahead. Hopefully not smash into things. Missing so many. I mean, that should be enough. I'm pretty sure the fight's annoying, but I still would like to see it in this edition. Is, do I get to continue? I'm, I'm. No, I don't. Oh, no, we get to fight Psycho. Well, there's that. Which probably isn't worth it. Psycho, but come here! I mean, I like the music. He's also not as hard as I remember him being. Well, he did hit me there. I do love his, his fish hook gun. Although it is picking my ass. Was it worth it? Probably not. But we did it. There is so much more lore and context for everything in the cartoon that I'm pretty sure came out after the game. And yes, there is in fact an Earthworm Jim cartoon show. And it is beautiful and amazing. I would definitely recommend every living creature to watch it. I do not know how much I've got to shoot him.
Surely he's had to almost be defeated though. Oh, that's why that's why it's taking forever. I have to hit him. Yeah. Well, I'm I'm a I'm a genius. Don't mind me. Man, psycho, you got dumb. That would that would have been a lot easier if I would just really? done that the first time. Wouldn't it have? It's not a problem. And then Earthworm Jim decides or knows that the only way he can proceed is a bungee battle with Major Mucus. I don't know what planet this is. I, I kind of need to find out. Because now I'm very curious where the fuck we even are. Like, like, never mind the fact that we're doing a bungee battle for some reason. That That is the least important thing about this. I don't know what the planet is, actually. I tried all my avenues of knowledge seeking, Look which was below. just clicking his name on the wiki. I also got to not die to that thing, which now will attack. It will 100% be instant death, if that wasn't potentially obvious. Thankfully it is easier to avoid than dumb kid me. Had problems with. I think there's one more round. There is in fact another round, and I believe it's the last one. I also believe we don't have many more levels, so we might beat this tonight. Look out below! Like I'm doing worse, but also better than I was expecting to do. Well, uh, that damaged my bungee cord, but I'd rather damage the cord than die to it. Oh, he, uh, damaged me quite a bit, my bungee cord. I didn't even realize I had a button that I could have been pushing. Well, uh, it didn't help me there. Well, that is another life loss. battle and now are free to proceed through the galaxy which hopefully means another yes a race I will win and get another checkpoint for it um I know there's at least three more levels technically four rocket, but there's probably even more than that that's just what I remember and that's not including what may or may not have been added from this edition of the game Well, thankfully, uh, I'm ahead of him, and I don't even need to use the boosts. 
Well, if I hit that, I probably do. Get out of here. Thankfully, the shield lets me bump into people. Oh, well, he apparently did use a boost. So I probably should use a boost. Just want to get enough bubbles. Get and a continue. Why bubbles equal a continue, let alone a can of worms? I do not know. But it seems logical within the context of this universe. So I guess that's just what it's gonna have to be, is logical. Well, I barely won. And because I won, no Psycho fight. Also, continue. Which I am fine with. Because... I'm not dying that much. Even on hard, on difficult. This game's not really that difficult, but then again, I have a high tolerance for and have played a lot of... Level 5. Literally called Level 5. Where, uh, the evil Professor Monkey Forehead has his laboratory. A very colorful cast of villains that Earthworm Jim has to deal with. This most certainly was an interesting level. So never mind the fact that I am absolutely failing to uh, platform. Sets after a time. No, but me falling into the abyss would surely uh, not be ideal. If I was too busy looking for, I don't even know. But I kind of got a secret because I did that. Now, what does the secret give me? I couldn't tell you. Maybe it's just an alternative path. That's the thing that games sometimes have. It might be an alternate path, which I won't complain about. That definitely means good things, surely. Maybe it was a shortcut further in the level. Um, this would be a lot better if I wasn't low on ammo, causing me to die. Unfortunately. But we have two continues. Um, I mean, if I don't run out of continues and thus lives, I'm going to save state and continue it on Thursday rather than starting from scratch. Which means we could also probably start the second one on Thursday. That's assuming I don't lose all my lives, obviously. That is definitely a thing that could happen. Like, no mistake. stupid damn shrimp things. Wait, how come now the escalator is not going? Is that what the lever did? That might be what the lever did, but then why was it active when I died? 
I do not know the answer to these questions, that's for sure. I tell you what. not to die and lose continuous. It's fine that we did, because now we have ammunition. A lot of it. So, we can freely spray and pay during that section of amoebas assaulting us. Yeah, so... Me getting up there was just... basically luck. And I wasn't even needing the... I didn't even need that. Because I see that I could have gotten up there just by jumping. So I didn't even find a hidden path, I'm just... I am just brain shortage. It happens, sometimes you just have a little brain shortage. Nothing wrong with that. We all have brain shortages from time to time. Sometimes some people have them more than others, like myself. Oh, they are random. Okay, some of these don't have the best reaction time. Should be fine. Yippee! Hope it doesn't have another one, Yippee! which it might have us do another one first. No! Well, it gave me health. Not enough, but it gave me health. bit more difficult than it looks. Well, I think it does look difficult, because again, when they come from the top and the bottom, there's not much in the way of reaction time. Well, uh, considering the Red orb is gonna give me 50 health. I will mostly be at full when I get to this. Especially since I'm getting these ammos and. Yeah. Two atoms? Three? Four atoms? Oh yeah, now I should be at full health. Okay, that, that is acceptable. Boom. Oh, it only gets 25. I don't know why I thought I gave 50, because I was at 50. Well... Oh my lord, thank... Thank all who reside above in the heavens for that victory. Hey, what in the- oh, well, that's new. Yeah, just give me the checkpoint, dear lord. All- that's, that's all I could want. Oh, that was Professor Monkey Forehead. He will return, were you not, in case you eagerly want to see a professor with a monkey or a head. 
Not a sight one sees every day. What? No, I want that other atom. I need every bit of health I can get. I feel like this is because there's something up there. But at the same time, there wasn't anything over here. Nope, not sure why that's there. What? We have another... Oh, I thought I didn't have a suit for this segment. Again, I can't conflate my memories of Super Nintendo with... Say a Sega CD. The clearly a superior console that definitely beat the Super Nintendo. What was Sega CD during the 64 era? Because I know, I'm pretty sure Earthworm Jim was also on PlayStation, so I'm not entirely sure. Oh yeah, no, th this is correct. There most certainly is a segment where you do not have the suit. Which is this, and this is actually exactly as I remember it. I forgot that you do technically have the suit for a bit, but then the fans. So that was a not really a difficult segment. I think there must be more. Oh yeah. I don't know what these like the weird shrimp things are that drop out of the green what she calls it, but oh my lord, are they annoying? Um, I don't know if I actually need to hurry, but... I thought I did. Yes, I did, in fact, because the suit will fall off. If I dunced hurry. But while we're talking about the suit, here's some more story context. Um... Earthworm Jim was in fact a regular Earthworm at one point, but this varies from the exact circumstances. I think vary from comics, or well, more like modern, very recently made comics, to a uh, show to game maybe. But the super suit that Earthworm Jim is in was actually being transported by Psycho, who. Evil Queen is what her name will be for now. I will reveal her actual name later. Um, but it fell off a spaceship for some reason that I don't recall, and fell right onto Earthworm Jim when he was just an Earthworm, and it transformed him to the hero you see before you. The greatest of all hero origins. Also, I believe, is a boss fight soon? Oh, there's another level segment, and then there's a boss fight. Thankfully, we have health. I mean, you have to admit, in this circumstance specifically, and perhaps only in this circumstance, there are advantages to having a monkey for your head. Well, not. Well, yes, forehead. I hate these brains. Why do you need so many brains? And why are they not in brain tanks? 
They're gonna dry out. That's no proper way to keep brains. Once it starts dropping enemies, that's all the good you can get from there. I will appreciate the extra life, I just wish I also had more health. Oh, yeah. uh. Well, there is a boss. I am also doing a horrible job of fighting. Oh yeah. The results of evil Professor Monkey Forehead's experiments, no doubt. A chicken head in a mech or something. Chicken. Really and truly. I think that. Okay, I have one more attempt. Because it is 352. And honestly, if I die and have to start the whole level over, I'm just gonna pause it here. Honestly, if I get to the point where I'm no continues this late to the end of stream, then I will probably be starting fresh. But I guess that really depends on this boss fight. Okay, well that went a lot smoother, but there's part two. to not let him bump into me. And he is bumping the fuck into me. So it definitely takes some doing, but as I'm sure, I, I'm pretty sure it puts me at the beginning of the level. Oh no, it doesn't. Okay, never mind. I swear that I'm yeah, I'm hitting him. Maybe I'm not. Yeah, I just, I've got to be more patient is what I got to do. He gets higher every time I do that. I need to make him go back down. Easier to pass over him than it is under. as I take massive damage for no reason. Groovy. But hey, we did it, and that means another chance for continue. I think there will be one more anti-asteroids, because there's Definitely another planet. 
Look, they're meatballs. I don't know what this next planet's called, but you know. We're gonna find out. I really hope we don't lose this race, though, I will tell you that much. I hope there's even enough blue spheres. Blue orbs, whatever you want to call them. Blue circles, if perhaps even in universe they're not 3D. There's not gonna be four. I missed my chance. Son of a bitch, but I don't have to fight Psycho at least. I win. There must have barely been 50, if 50 is even the number. Groovy. Must have been 50 because it didn't give me a life. Or a continue, rather. Or Pete Sayer. Well, here we see Earthworm Jim's best friend, Peter Puppy. And he must escort him to the end of the level. Or there will be problems. Which includes whipping him when necessary. Uh, I do remember having trouble with this when I was younger, so we'll see. There will be bad things that happen if I fail. Which undoubtedly I will, and then you'll learn why Peter Puppy is special, other than being the walking, talking pink dog. Although I don't believe he's pink in the show. More like each colored. Oh my lord. Yeah. So, when he takes damage or is frightened, uh, he temporarily turns into a monster and attacks Jin. Doesn't matter the context of what hurt him, what's frightened him, literally at all. Oh yeah, don't don't go backwards now. That would be very bad. Also bad is getting annihilated by meteors, but you know. Sometimes it happens. Well, it put us exactly where we left off. Just without the meteor shower, so that's nice. Out of here. Damn UFOs. He lives on a very dangerous planet. Um, this is actually the Sega CD version, which I've never played. But I've always wanted to because it has the amazing music and levels that I haven't seen. At least one. And level segments. Oh dear lord. been a hot minute since I've played this game though. As much as I love it. Mm. 
what happened? Oh, was there one tiny hole that you fell in? I think there was. Listen, Peter, you can't just fall into holes. in this is great. I'm down to my no continues in last life. Plus it being like the tail end of stream, so probably not going to beat the game on this go around. The the one of the levels that I've never played caught me off guard. I definitely lost some lives that I continue on that one. Oh damn I should have Okay, worth. Yes. Where we have a bungee battle with Major Mucus. I watched the TV show of this, like, so much that I know most of its insane characters and lore. When no, no human being rightly should. But I love Earthworm Jim. I have posters, I have the comics. There's the cow, which definitely was not in the normal version. That, the SNES version, definitely son of ass, got kind of shafted. But I wanted to do the hard version of the level. Well, that's fine, because I'm definitely not going to beat the game on one life, so I'm going to have to redo that anyway. I can only find the show nowadays through... I'm a rocket man. Um, ...websites where sailors go. I, I have no idea where I would find it otherwise. Or where one might find it legitimately, as one might say. It's just like nowhere to be found, which is a shame because I love the show. It is my perfect brand of weirdness. Which sounds about right because it's about as weird as my universe turned out when I DM'd a Pathfinder campaign. I don't know if it's an issue with the rights holder. Then again, who owns the show might be different than who owns Earthworm Jim. Because there's been two relatively recent Kickstarters for, for a huge comic book for the game. Like, new comics. But, uh... Am I actually going to beat him? No, I'm not. Well, now that I'm not going to have a spot of brain damage trying to fight him, this fight won't be so bad, because I, I forgot how to actually damage him last time I ended up fighting him, and it took Psycho, longer here. than it should. Man, Psycho, you got 
Uh, this wasn't in the Super Nintendo. Again. What in the fuck? Oh yeah, we're, we're definitely not going to beat this tonight. Uh, what even? Yeah, I didn't get to continue even though oh because I didn't win the race. That's why. I was like, I got over 50. Yeah, because this version has like a lot more voice acting or voice clips. Um the good music. Uh and like every level has new segments that I don't remember. Which is one of the reasons I was having a spot of trouble. That and getting used to the controls. But I love it. Fortunately, we are at the, the end of stream, of normal stream, because I've been going four hours. But now that I've had a bit of practice with this, I'm definitely going to try and figure out how to get all the extra lives, because I've missed a lot, because I don't remember how to do any of the secrets. Uh, we will definitely finish this when I stream next, which will be Thursday. I love this game, though. I love everything about it. It is a different brand of weirdness than Tomba, but it is my brand of weirdness. Ow. Yeah, I uh, wish that it was still an active IP, but to be fair, with what happened to... Uh, with the reception to Earthworm Jim 3D, which I don't necessarily blame, I'm sure that's what killed it as a video game franchise, which is unfortunate. I still liked Earthworm Jim 3D, it just was, uh, not great. <laughs> but 1 and 2 are amazing. I'm gonna stream 2 after I beat 1. Which, uh, new levels or no, I don't think it'll, I think I'll be able to easily complete this Thursday. Yeah. Honestly, I think Mario is the only three, the only game from any franchise that had a first step into 3D that I would say was not maybe not completely flawless, but damn close, if not. I would also say Crash Bandicoot, but I mean, Crash Bandicoot was definitely a niche, uber-hard platformer, and it did have some Perspective issues, perhaps. But I loved it. I loved a lot about that era. There's a lot that was bad, but there's a lot that was good. It was definitely an easy era for collectathons because obviously Mario, Banjo Kazooie, and Tooie. For all its faults, Donkey Kong 64 was a great game. Just with a lot of a lot of faults were unfortunate. Yes, that is it for Final Fantasy IV and Earthworm Jim for tonight. Good progress on the first. Good practice on the second. Good. We'll definitely do better and not lose all my continues in like the first half of the game or first. Honestly, I probably was 75% through. Yes, I have been playing through the entire Final Fantasy series in order, and I am on four. I have had my second day of streaming it. And, uh... Before Final Fantasy, before streaming it, I've only played six, seven, nine, and I played, like, two years of the MMO 14. So, it's been interesting starting from the beginning. It's been a steady improvement, like one, I mean, it was grindy, it was no story, but the remaster is good. Two was an improvement on one, 
still o overly grindy. Three was great because you finally had like story elements, amazing music. And then four, four is just like next level, but it was the first Super Nintendo entry. Um, actual characters, actual character development, great music as well. Actually difficult because honestly, I face rolled everything one through three except like the final boss in one. Uh, the pixel remaster. Uh, that's how I've been playing through all of these. And uh, honestly, I'm glad I did because the pixel remastered music, amazing. Like, especially because I have the, I pre-ordered them, so I have like, there's a few tracks that each game comes with that sh starts with the original and then becomes the new track. And what they did for the new tracks is amazing. I'm pretty sure it's all new music. Well, you know what? Let's find out while we're right here. So... Two. FF4 PSP battle. Actually, boss battle thing. Um... I believe that's the PSP version. Well, it was uploaded 10 years ago, so it's definitely not the Pixel Remaster version. Fun fact. Uh, the first time I heard this wasn't even in a Final Fantasy game. It was in a Mario game. But it's also a Final Fantasy game, so it's going to be part of my Final Fantasy streaming. Now... And then, just for reference, here's the Pixel Remaster version of that same thing. It's definitely different, a different style, but... Compared to the original Super Nintendo... Yeah. I mean, I like it. I've liked a lot of the soundtracks. It's weird playing through these games, because I have reverse nostalgia, because I played Final Fantasy XIV, and a lot of music, bosses, and story in fourteen, at least from the current expansion, is from four. So I have like this weird reverse nostalgia when I heard this song in four. Because of hearing it in fourteen. In fact, you know, just to round it out, Final Fantasy XIV. Which is kind of more true to the original, I think, just orchestral. I'm not super far in four. I, uh... The main character is now Paladin, proving that Paladin is superior to Dark Knight. Uh, and I... That's the last major thing that happened, yeah. I'm trying to get an airship. That's where I last left off, so Thursday... We'll be opening with a boss fight that kicked my ass. And getting an airship, hopefully. But we'll see. That's the nice thing about the Pixel Remaster, is... I'm pretty sure the SNES didn't have it. It has quick saves, so even if you're not on the world app, map, you can save anywhere. So I'm like right at that boss fight to kick my ass. Snake guy with snakes for arms. Great. Except everyone died. That's not great. But I'll beat him. But that will be Thursday. Thursday. For now, however. I'm sorry that you happened to join in on the tail end of my stream, but I will be back again Thursday with more. It will be wonderful.
hopefully much more progress than four, because I am loving the game. And I'm kind of excited to get to six. I loved six, and I can't wait to see what the Pixel Remaster did to that and its music for less. And more Earthworm Jim, which hopefully I can finish in one run this time. Uh, I'll obviously have to play through all of them to decide, but so far I think my favorite's nine. With six being tied or second. Nine had a lot of emotional moments, which made me love it, and so does six. I mean, oh man, I can't wait to see what the Pixel Remaster did to the opera. The opera is what I'm so excited to see. God, that's like one of my favorite parts of six. And given what they've done to the music, for all the others. I'm about to give you the kitty. Yes, Roxy, because I am done. I will give you kitty and make food for us. He, he is unlike a lot of cats, because here I am holding him like this with one hand, and he's purring. Apparently, this is what he enjoys. Still purring. He really is, though. Okay, this is an extremely long outro segment to Earthworm Jim. So, thank you for stopping by. I will be back probably around the same general start time of 6 or 7 central on Thursday where we will make more FF progress and hopefully beat Earthworm Jim because we were pretty close with all my failing and dying. So without the failing and dying, success! For now, though, uh, I hope you all have a wonderful night tonight and tomorrow for yourselves. And as always, I'll catch you next time.